Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session, we are going to see about another two timer instruction in CX programmer. And these two timers are ultra high speed timers because the time delay unit is one millisecond. All right. So these two timers are non retentive timers. And here we can see the timer number value should be in between these two range and the set value for normal BCD type timer is this one and for binary is this one. All right. So let's move on to the CX programmer and see how to do that. I'm going to take the same example. So TMHH. So let's search for that TMHH. So I'm just press I. So TMHH. All right, we got that. So I'm giving the timer name as 0 and I'm giving the time duration as 10,000. Why I'm giving 10,000 here means this is 1 millisecond timer. So 1 millisecond timer. I'm going to use the timer for 10 seconds. So I'm giving 10,000 here. So the 10,000 into 1 millisecond is 10 seconds. Click enter. So there is an error here. So let's see what is that. So let's take one more instruction also. So while compiling, we get to know what is that error. So for timer, so TIHH. This one. Yeah, this one only. This is a one millisecond timer, ultra high speed. So click OK and give the timer address as one. And the set value will give. So I'm going to give here is. Yeah. So that's it. So we'll delete and add it again. TIM. TMHH or TIMHH. Giving zero. And uh, the value is hash 10,000. Okay, let's compile and see. Out of range. Okay, let's see what is the range we can give for this. Yeah, the range is triple zero zero to triple nine nine. So that's what it is taking an error. So the set value have to be in range. So I'll do one thing. So for nine seconds, I'm giving like this. So what will happen? Triple nine nine into one millisecond is nine point nine nine seconds. So yeah, now it is accepting, right? So while compiling, we get to know what is the error we are getting. Then go for the simulation mode. I'm using the same example as the previous one, okay? So now we'll turn on. So this will run for 9 seconds and this will run for 10 seconds. So let's turn on these two. That's it. So after 10 seconds, automatically both the motors will get turned on. That's it. Right. So turn off this and uh, we'll turn off in between. It's, it's running. Both the timers are running. I'm turning off. 
So what is happening? It will go back to the previous one. It is also going back to the previous one. That's what this two or these timers are called as non-retentive timers. So I'll meet you in the next session with a retentive timer concept. And before that, kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. Thank you.